gonna talk just a little bit while Dexter starts in on this box. First off, welcome back to the doghouse. So this is our second bark box. It, I don't know if anybody can tell that it is actually a little bit bigger than, the, than our first one. And uh, that's because we did change to the larger size. So hopefully we've got some slightly bigger products for our dogs, even though now we have a tiny puppy in the bunch, but believe me, she does not care. Oh boy. Really? You're just gonna... <laughs> You're not even gonna really open it? You're just gonna find a hole? Lord. So there's a toy. <laughs> um, we're gonna let him go at that for a minute. So, excited to see what's inside this one. We got it just before St. Patty's Day. So, it doesn't already look uh, green or anything, so I guess they don't really do a theme for any kind of like holiday. Whatever, dogs don't care. One thing with the last video we did with the bark box is people were suggesting a couple different subscribe uh, subscriptions for dogs. We did look into like the bully, like the bolt ones that were I guess made for like tough, like tough. Oh lord. We did look into like the bully ones that were made for like tough, dog, tougher chewers and just like I guess toys that are a little bit more indestructible. But looking into that and seeing the kind of toys that that came out of that, they weren't really the most exciting toys. So as it kind of wasn't even going to be worth the money. At least these toys are actually seems to be pretty good quality for the subscription cost. Good boy. Okay, so now that you opened it, let's get some testers out here. Okay, so we brought on a couple of extras. We're gonna go ahead and open this. So, oh, so there's a toy. And the little dummy's gonna have a blast with the trash. That's fine. So here's Grim. Dexter's gonna find every toy. He's like, wait, that one was mine. So it looks like we have a robber, which is kind of weird. Um, it squeaks, that's cool. But again, like these are, this is good quality. Like this isn't, I mean, he's gonna destroy it, but it's not bad quality at all. You know what I'm saying? So over there, Grimmy's taking a toy from the little girl, because what are big brothers for? Lord. Okay, so this, okay, so I think there's like an art theme going on here. Uh, this is blue, like, like a paint squeeze tube, but made into a dog toy. So it's kind of cool. Makes a noise. Again, decent quality for, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like they don't just throw a bunch of reject toys, it seems like, in here. So we'll, anyways little one is going nuts over something. Oh, okay, so wait, what's this? No, no, no. Quick little review story on the last box that we had. If you guys did watch it, our first one, it was a medium-sized dog and it came with a teeny tiny figure. It was about this big. It was actually not even a whole pig ear, it was like one small pig ear cut in half, so it was ridiculous. I did let Dexter take it for a few minutes. Literally, I turned my back for two minutes, and I heard him kind of like gagging. So went over there to see what the heck was going on really quick, and take it away from him most likely. But he was in the middle of actually throwing it back up. He swallowed it, threw it back up, I went to grab it. He then tried to grab it even faster, the vomit, that is. And we ended up, I ended up getting bit, so whatever. But thanks for the teeny tiny chew. These are actually a little bit bigger. I don't know. There's Grim, six months old. That's how big it is. And there's two in here. These are for later. This is gonna start an argument. Knock it off. Can I see what it is? Beef look stick. So I. Okay. She's learning from the best. Lila! Lord! Come over here. Just having a blast with some trash. Trash girl. Okay, good. This is ridiculous. 
So I don't, Dexter, I don't think these are bully sticks, but they kind of want to resemble them. Maybe they are, I don't know. We'll see how the dogs like them and how good they, they are with them. And we are in the, I guess, extra toy club, so that's fun. Um, can't even, there's too much. Who opens, who opens their bark box with their dogs? This is ridiculous. Any plots right here? Hey, plots. Good boy. Okay, so as usual, we usually get some treats. This reminds me of Rocco's Modern Life. It's like the way that graphic is. I don't know. Maybe it's something I'm not even aware of. Okay, so let me take these out because this German Shepherd is very, very pushy. Dexter, don't make the biggest mess ever immediately. Do you want to take one of these and go away? I can open it. Can you open it? You want to open it? I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, Brim's happy, so that's fine. Just, this is ridiculous. Okay, so, lots. Uh uh, lots. Thanks. Big dog. Okay, Dexter wants that toy bag. Mr. Not be rude, Dexter. That is your little brother. Okay, so uh, we have some treats. That's what we were talking about. Blueberry and peanut butter. That's neat. Just pour your treats in their pets. I guess this is something with the. There's all kinds of stuff with the military dog and stuff. I don't know. So we'll see how they like these. They get a treat if you block. There you go. Notice that little whipper snapper. Wow, oh wow. So this is, hang on, wait. Wait. Let me see if I can get it to. Grim. So this is what it looks like, like a cookie. Like a real, like a little, I don't even know, macaroon? Macaroon, is that what they're called? To me it's what it looks like. It smells like straight up freaking sugar, like a sugar cookie. I don't know what that is in there, like, oh, it's like blueberries. Okay, so we'll see how, how he likes it. So gentle. Okay, there's a piece. And look, he's sharing. Don't do this with your dog, that's dangerous. They're not like a crunchy cookie. They're kind of soft. Grimace, fui. It's my new word for him. It means shameful. I'm only gonna give her a teeny tiny bite because this is not on her menu of things to eat. We don't wanna, we don't need babies to have diarrhea. She likes it, but her mouth's weird because you know, she's a terrier. Moving on. So I found the second pack of treats and Lila doesn't even know why this is exciting because she's too small and dumb to figure it out. But look at her ear going up, that's funny. Okay, so anyways, paint, painter's palette. So this is kind of funny because I guess it is going with the theme of some kind of like art stuff. Hang on. It's like an art, uh, artist theme. So this is supposed to be Vincent Van Squirrel, which is kind of appropriate because we have squirrels. That's funny. So, um, and I guess that's because his ear was bitten off or cut off or whatever and um, they put a bandage on. So. That's sweet. So, and then we have painter's palettes like with pork, blueberries, and carrots. Yeah, I'm sure. So let's see how they like it. First of all, let's see. Oh, Lord. It's not really look great. I think they were supposed to, hey, they were supposed to look, oh, Grim. I mean, somebody. Lila doesn't know. Okay, so that's what they look like. They look super boring. They look like um, something I would put in like chlorine discs, but tiny. They smell kind of boring as well too, but apparently the little, this little dum-dum likes it. I'm over here. Ooh, Dexter. Don't give her a taste. Don't choke. Dexter. I like the rest of hers. Is it weird? It feels like it might be cheap. No, okay, yeah. Like it's kind of like, almost like raw. 
not raw, but like you, like dough, like a like the cook like a cookie that wasn't cooked all the way, or like those cookies you get at Publix, the like sugar cookies, the frosted cookies that um, everybody really likes, and I think they're disgusting because they just seem like not barely cooked type cookies. I, don't like, I like crunchy stuff, so Graham, can you plots? Thanks. And then you can try one. How do you like it? Lila's. She wants the mic. That's not a part of your bark box, Lala. Okay, Grim likes it and he's asking for more, so. I'm too bad for him, he's just the dog, so he has to get what he wants, go. No. Okay, you can have one more. How's that? Lila, you had enough for that little belly of yours. Oh, uh-oh. Rut row. Oh no. That's a bad idea. That is a, that is not good. That is a bad time waiting to happen. Don't you guys like your toys? I mean, do you act like you're starving? Oh my goodness. Okay, moving on, let's put those over. So as far as like getting the bigger size, I like it. Um, I think the toys are definitely, the, no, the toys are definitely bigger. The treats, about the same. I mean, I don't know, just two bags came with it last time and then we got two bags this time. Uh, had, when we got the other bark box, funny enough, the toys were super small and yes, Dexter is obviously a big old toy killer, but those toys from the last box actually lasted for quite a while, a lot longer than I expected before they actually like even rip them apart. Grim's really into the squeaky things, so he doesn't even rip apart toys. He just likes to hold them and squeak them. But we'll see how long these take. They, the other ones though, I was really pleased with how long they lasted, just cause the quality is pretty nice. So I'm pretty happy with the bark box so far. Um, it's definitely fun. Again, I know there's the bully, the bully boxes and the stuff like that and the tough chewers and all these guarantees, but I feel like their guarantees come from like, well, here's a really boring looking toy that's made out of a tire. So why would your dog even want this? Unless it was like, you know, we don't have a house full of mouths. Okay, get out of here. We got a baby German Shepherd that thinks he's a golden retriever and this little new Boston Terror. Jeez, what are we, what, why did we do this? <laughs> where, where did we go wrong and fill our house with puppies? No, actually, it's the best thing ever. You guys should try it. So despite the stupid pig ear that came in the other one that caused an issue, um, we are pretty, I'm pretty happy with it all. And I think we're gonna stick with BarkBox for quite a while. Plus, I mean, they like the box too, so. What's weird is that, I mean, I don't know if this, I never noticed this a thing. It was like, tear that hair. And like Dexter actually is. He's like going through the hair, which is just funny. Are you happy? Grim's happy. Alila doesn't really know what planet she's on because she's still just a dumb puppy, so. She's happy, the toys are almost her size. They're almost as big as you, Lala. All right, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end our video on probably a potential dog fight. Hey, excuse me, Grim. Grim does this like puppy thing lately cause he's realizing how much bigger he physically is than Dexter, but he also is still like a wuss with him, but he is annoyingly putting his mouth over Dexter's entire back of his neck, like a scruff as they like walk along and do things which is um, one of the reasons why I put a spike collar on him just to kind of help help Dexter not have that happen to him and just to kind of make it uncomfortable for Grim to do it when I'm not 100% right there to tell him to knock it off. So anyways, we'll go ahead and let the dogs play with their toys and stuff. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, maybe even share. Um, I do, I would say, you know, obviously we, we purchased BarkBox ourselves. This isn't like a paid or paid review or anything like that. 
Um, but we're excited to get next month. Dexter, you really asked for it. 